Martial arts is a big part of the action in G.I. Joe Retaliation, coming to Blu-ray and DVD on July 30th. And to celebrate the release, we are here in Burbank at the um, Martial Arts Museum. We're here with the director, John Chu, and with Snake Eyes, Ray Park. So how are you guys doing today? Great, how are you doing? So tell me a little bit about um, you and how this whole martial arts scene started with you and how um, you progressed with all this. Yeah, well, you know, I, uh, I don't know much about martial arts, to be honest. I didn't grow up with it, although I played a lot of toys and watched a lot of movies, and, and uh, but I was fascinated by it. it, it it's um, obviously a part of, you know, where my parents come from, it was a part of me, but, um, so I always was attracted to it in, in different ways. And the fact that I get to work with a master like Ray Park, we get to put him in a character like Snake Eyes and sort of make up this world, it's almost like my fantasy of what martial arts is, even though, you know, we're not defined to a certain style, we get to sort of mix it up. It's sort of the, the fun part about it being a G.I. Joe. Do you have a favorite um, person in the martial arts world? Um, I love this guy, right? <laughs> I mean, Snakey. What am I? I have all his toys. I have uh, even from Darth Maul all the way to Snake Eyes. So oh, it's pretty you. cool. <laughs> and what was the most difficult scene to film involving martial arts during the whole movie process? For me, um, I think the most difficult part was well, one, just getting um, used to the terms or getting used to uh, what what styles we were doing and, and what story we were trying to tell. Um, that's always the, sort of the biggest challenge. Mm -hmm. uh, but the mountain scene where the ninjas are flying across the mountain, because uh, we had many different units shooting many different parts of it over a span of months. So uh, we'd get a little piece here, a little piece there, and we didn't never knew if it was going to fully come together until the very end. And everyone put their heart and soul to it. So we really wanted to make it work out. It's nine minutes of no dialogue, just right. action. So. Right. So how difficult is it for you to do these stunts, to practice them? How many um, scenes, shots, does it take for you to get it perfect? Um, you know, it's because um, it was a new suit for me. Um, right. it, nothing beats actually rehearsing in the suit. And even being in, just standing in it, it, it can be, you, you get tired. And, uh, and then you, sort, you start to, I, I worried a little bit about it. Am I going to execute everything in the way I want to do it? I want to be perfect. And then after a while, it just the rehearsal, and once you're in, once you're in it, you don't think about it, and you just get it done. And it is hard to see sometimes. Right. You know, I'm 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 worried about hitting Byung Hun Lee, who's placed uh, Storm Shadow. I don't want to be smacking him in the face, and <laughs> you know, at least you can't see my face, so I can be smacked a few times, and I don't mind. Whenever I'm in the suit, I would be meditating and breathing, because breathing was a big part as well. You know, I didn't have much air, um, uh, but once after a while, I just got used to it. You know, it was just in the beginning, it was just a bit of a challenge. And you started doing this at a very young age. What got you into it? Films, movies. Uh, Bruce Lee, Jackie Chan. Um, I wanted to be like them. and uh, watch you also it. do gymnastics, right? Yeah. I got into gymnastics because I wanted to make my martial arts better. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I got into martial arts because I wanted to learn how to do backflips. Because all the Jackie Chan movies at the time, they were doing flips. Sam Hung was flipping off tables. So I wanted to be like those guys. So I saw a guy in the park and he looked like something out of a, a Kung Fu movie and he was ripped and doing flips and somersaults and different animal styles. And I asked my dad to see if he would teach me and uh, he sent me along to his club. That's awesome. And what can we expect? Any extra goodies that we could expect in the Blu-ray DVD? Oh, so many things. One, we shot a lot of action stuff that didn't make it into the movie. Uh, and we get to throw all of those in in, in certain exclusive uh, editions of it. We also get some great behind the scenes look at, at Ray training for the stuff, and then uh, choreographing how the scenes are put together. So if you love the mountain scene, if you love the dojo scene, you actually get to see bit by bit and uh, of how it actually works, how we all work together to make something like that.